Chapter 10 The following midday, Ranifer was the first to reach the little green room in the thicket. Hecate appeared only a moment later. What news? Ranifer asked breathlessly. A great deal. Hecate flung himself down and began to divide his food as he talked. I have discovered an excellent place to watch Wenaman's house. He lives near his shop, you know, in the street of the Masons, which is only one street away from the street of the Goldsmith. Well, there is an alley behind the apprentice's quarters. Greetings to you, fellow spies. Seen any hangings lately? The ancient's seamed face appeared through the fringe of reeds, and his one eye rolled from Ranifer to Hecate with an expression of exaggerated stealth. Greeting, ancient. Come in, listen. Hecate has much to tell us. Go on, Hecate. Well, there is an alley behind the apprentice's quarters which runs directly behind Wenemon's house, too. I discovered this last evening as I was prowling about the place. And in this alley, just a short distance from Wenemon's rear wall, is a straggly old dom palm tree. And from the branches of this tree, I can see directly over Wenemon's wall and into his courtyard. He has a wife with a voice like the hyena. The ancient cackled, and Ranifer leaned eagerly closer. Well, go on. What did you see? I saw Wenemans come, Weneman come home from his work. I saw his wife give him barley beer and set his food before him, nagging all the while. He had salted waterfowl and bread and onions for his meal. His wife ate what was left when he had finished. But did he go out after the meal? Nay, he sat in the courtyard. Oh, then did someone come in to see him? Nay, Hecate confessed. He did not do anything at all last evening, but I could see him perfectly. He was in my sight all the time. No doubt this evening, this evening, something will happen. Then I will watch it all from my tree. It is an excellent thing to have discovered such a good place. Ay, ay, it is, Ranifer agreed. But he could not summon as much enthusiasm as Hecate seemed to expect. Boiled down, Hecate's story was the same as his own. Nothing whatever had happened. And you, ancient? Hecate said. Did you find Setma last evening? Ay, I found him. He was at the sailmakers when my lotus and I brought our prayer papyrus. I kept my eye on him a while. He went to a wine shop and bought his food and ate it. Then he walked across the mud to his vessel and went aboard. You can be sure he took no trip to Abydos or anywhere else. No vessel can move now until blessed Osiris rises and the Nile comes back to life. Possibly he entertained a few kefts, or devils, in his cabin later, but I...